George Douglas, publisher of Kite Fishing Magazine. Welcome to our new show on salmon, trout, and steelhead fishing. And that's what Kite Magazine is all about. Uh, for those of you that don't know our magazine, it's a quarterly. We started in 2008, and it's unique because each issue comes with a full-length DVD. Kite is a new, refreshing approach to the sport of salmon, trout, and steelhead fishing. As a matter of fact, the word kipe originates from the hook jaw on a male trout, salmon, and steelhead. It's unique just to those species, and they get that kipe during their spawning periods. Uh, it's kind of like a sign of power. So on this show, I'm going to be showing some of our clips from Kite Magazine DVDs, uh, going over some of the articles that are authors have written for us and just going down the technique and all the different aspects of this sport that kind of catapulted me from just starting out as a kid bass fishing in New Jersey all the way to the Freshwater Fishing Hall of Fame in Hayward, Wisconsin. What has inspired me to start Kipe is just the small things in fishing that I wanted to bring out that I thought that in other forms of print media and video that that they were missing and it's and it could be something as little as just walking through the woods and approaching the river and just getting ready at the car in the middle of the night and getting your gear ready and packing up and walking through a little forest trail coming down to the river and just to feel that excitement your heart starts beating and just anticipations building Next thing you know, you're riverside and hear a couple fish surfacing. It's that energy. It's that, that feeling that we get that only fishing can bring out of us. And it's really something special. And that's what, that's what we're all about, about Kipe, is we break everything down from the littlest details of the sport to the techniques to the excitement of landing the big fish. We've been from Alaska all through the Great Lakes region, Wyoming, Montana, uh, and fishing the West Coast rivers as well for big steelhead and salmon. Right now, I'm just going to give you a little preview of our films. And uh, it's just going to bounce around. You'll see a little Wyoming in there. You'll see a little bit of Alaska, uh, a little bit of the Great Lakes, the Salmon River, and Steelhead Alley.
I hope you enjoyed that segment. The music, by the way, is from Stalemate. It's a local indie rock band out of Cleveland. And it really captures the local flavor of Steelhead Alley. And, and that's uh, where I spend my time in the spring and fall. I'm guiding up on uh, the Grand River and some of the other rivers around the area in Steelhead Alley, Ohio. So um, that band is great. Check them out there on MySpace. And I, and I hope that that clip gave you just the energy and the passion. Uh, just illustrated for us to what we're about and how we go across the country and seek the best of salmon, trout, and steelhead fishing. So check out our website as well. We're on kitemagazine.com. And that will give you uh, access to a social community that's on there with anglers around the world just discussing different things. It's kind of like, in a sense, like Facebook where you can make groups and things like that. We'll be back in two weeks. We'll be discussing river currents and just understanding the basics of what happens when you fight a fish and the currents and how all the currents work with our fishing. A little bit different than lake and, and pond fishing, of course. And uh, we need to talk about cubic feet per second and all the different elements that we're battling and working with as we fish. Thank you for subscribing. Be sure to be back with us in two weeks. Check out our first show that really illustrates the tutorials and the how-tos and uh, just a good lesson in river fishing for these species. Thank you. Have a good night.